this is the G center. It's this diamond that's that if you were to correlate the body graph to your anatomical body, it's basically in the center of your chest. So in the Hindu chakra system, which these energy centers are derived from, this would be akin to your heart chakra. There are two ways that the G center can show up. It can either show up as undefined, which is when it's white. So on the left here is an undefined G center. On the right is a defined G center. If you have your chart, just identify whether or not you have a defined G center, whether it's colored in as, and it's defined or whether it's white and it's open or undefined. The G center, that diamond that represents a G center on your body graph is home to the magnetic monopole. And if you think of a magnet having a positive charge and a negative charge, typical magnet, you can then understand that the magnetic monopole is actually a magnet that only has one charge. So it's a magnetic force that attracts you or attracts things to you, people, opportunities, or you to people and opportunities that you're meant to meet and experience in this lifetime. So if you're not familiar with the quality of uh, the G center of the magnetic monopole, you can do some reading at the Institute of HeartMath, heartmath.org, where they've done some research around the magnetic quality of the heart. This is not human design. Heart math has nothing to do with the system of human design. It's kind of like how we're just built, which is, you know, related to, they're looking at it from a, a scientific aspect and we're looking at it on the body graph from an esoteric aspect. But there is science that backs up this transmission that the founder of human design got, Ra Uruhu, that this G center does have a magnetic resonance that is attractive to our direction and to love in our life. The G center filters this energy of love. It's the center for identity, love, and direction. And these centers, all of the energy centers, are actually filters of how we deal with the energy that we're designed to function from. So the function of the G center is to lay out our experience, to lay out our uh, direction, and to filter that energy or that understanding of that feeling of love that we all experience. It's also part of what we perceive as our identity. Now the only difference between a defined G-Center and an undefined G-Center is that the experience is slightly different. The experience of your identity, the experience of love, and the experience of direction is different. But everyone has every part of the chart. It's just that if you're undefined, whether it's in the G center or another center or a channel or a gate, it's a place where you have a variable experience, where your experience of, in this case, the G center of identity, love, and direction varies. But it doesn't mean that you don't have love or you can't have love. It doesn't mean that you don't have an identity and it doesn't mean that you don't have a direction. It just means that sometimes those energies that you filter that you would perceive as I, your identity as love or as direction change. And that's just how you are. You're designed to have a multitude of different experiences and to try on those energies and become wise about them in many, many different ways. If you're defined, you have a fixed experience of the energies of identity, love, and direction. So your trajectory through life, your path through life is less varied you show up as who you are and your sense of love sort of radiates out from you. So sometimes we say that the people who have the undefined G center are here to receive love and the people who have the defined G center are here to radiate that love. Active is another way to look at the defined G center. 
active out there. I don't know, some other words maybe. And then the undefined G center could be considered more receptive. So don't think that if you're undefined that you're not worthy of love or that there's something wrong with you if love comes and love goes because that's very natural. That's a very natural experience for that energy to come and go.